The key of realm. The key of vow. The key of dedication is the third master key of influence that I introduced in Keys of Magic video 82. Magic is influence or cause. Influence is about the capacity of an influencer. Magic is thus more accurately the development of the magician. You are the magic. Keys of magic are possessed by a magician. A magician wields the keys. The magician offers themselves as a candidate for service and mastery within the magical realm, Earth. The magician's precision with their power comes from dedication to magical practices as well as the willingness to stand and walk with honor. I present now the key of dedication. You as a being do not lack anything and do not need saving. You are safe, loved, worthy, powerful, and joyful. Magic has no power to modify the deep you. Magic cannot give to nor take away from you. Magic is not suitable as a method to heal from personal suffering. Becoming relatively well is previous to or alongside dedicating to the path of a magician. Becoming a magician is dedication of body and time to committed preparation and practice upon a path of mastery. The stages of practice along the magician's path may be generally termed candidate, novice, apprentice, journeyer, adept, master. Mastery in magic is a stage of personal alchemy within the universe and the world. Ultimately, the opening of greater love and freedom within you. The magician has already traveled the path of the king and the fool and will draw on these embodiments as they unfold new revelations of self and universe. As you embark within the dedication of a magician, you are now prepared for the behind-the-scenes, pull-back-the-curtain, understanding and ability of what it takes to provide and cause changes that emerge as part of the creation of Earth. If you are open to being taught, you will be taught along the way from the universe and those individuals it sends to your path. The first appearance you will call is yourself. Be a student of yourself. Hear and observe yourself. Come to know yourself. Trust yourself. The magician is a child of the earth. Mother Life speaks her magic into the magician, and the magician hears. The guardianship of the earth is part of the archetypal embodiment of the magician. Undertaking the path of the magician is, among other things, a walk out of subjugation. A magician is self-empowered and unpossessed, free from capture, and free to create. The opportunity as a magician is to recognize one's power and to become familiar with aspects and properties of that power. 
The learning of language is one major thread of a magician's dedication. Much of the dedication of the magician is to come into the condition of trustworthiness, because trustworthiness is a large portion of the magician's side of any magical conversation. Another necessary dedication of the magician is to practice purification. Eventually, as you continue on the magician's path, others will recognize and honor you as the magician. As well, the manner in which you recognize others you encounter will become that of honor. You will comprehend the appearances and true nature you encounter. At this current point in the Keys of Magic video series, I am addressing the novice magician. The novice magician is the candidate that has been accepted. And in terms of the Keys of Magic pathway, you self-accepted. The novice is learning the basics and is drilling on portions of the magical formula. The novice is developing new thoughts, new body abilities, and so forth by dedicating to brief, concrete, repeatable daily practices. Everything I have said here is an integration of previous materials. So if you would like to deep dive, I encourage you to explore within the Keys of Magic series playlist.